Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rain or Shine. This is the fourth episode of our Sardinia travel series. Recently, we spent two weeks exploring this Mediterranean island, known for its crystal clear waters, wonderful beaches, rocky mountains, and unspoiled nature. In this episode, we will bring you to some of the best beaches around San Teodoro. Considered as one of the best destinations in the island, this scenic coastal area made us fall in love with Sardinia even more. We are Rain and Chano. Please join us until the end to experience more stunning and breathtaking places in this Italian paradise. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow us in our adventures. After visiting the amazing Baunei coast for three days, we drove for almost two hours to Posada. We had planned to quickly visit this medieval town, but at the end, it turned out that we spent half of our day there. Chano prepares our itineraries with detail, but we're always flexible enough to do last-minute changes. Posada is considered one of the most beautiful towns in Sardinia, with its historic center located on top of a hill overlooking the surrounding countryside, the nearby sea, and the not-so-distant mountains. The slow flowing of time in its quiet streets and its colorful medieval buildings made us feel like we're traveling back to the past. We finished our time in Basada enjoying a yummy lunch in their 100% Sardinian restaurant. Mortadella Sardana. Mortadella Sardana. <laughs> if you come to Posada, you must come in this food place. It's perfect. 100% Sardinia. <laughs> Everything from Sardinia <laughs> in Posada. <laughs> we were supposed to stay in the town of Posada for only 30 minutes, but we ended up staying for three hours. The streets were really beautiful, the traditional houses are being restored, so it's really worth that you spend some few hours here. I want to thank Leon, one of the workers in the town, in the restaurant. He suggested some beautiful spots in the town, so we went there, took some videos and pictures. Too bad that the castle and the church are closed, but it's okay, the streets are very charming. Another reason to return in the future. Yeah. <laughs> After lunch, we immediately drove for 30 minutes to our accommodation in Porto Taverna, where we stayed for the next two nights. We chose this hotel due to its ideal location to explore the nearby beaches. Even though the weather was changing from sunny to cloudy, this didn't stop us from enjoying the hotel's swimming pool before going to our sunset location. The 
ladies and gentlemen, representing Spain, the grand finals for the Olympics. He's aiming for the gold medal. We are driving to the parking with the best view of Porto Taverna Beach. At sunset, we headed to Porto Taverna Beach. There are different parking locations to access this beach, but Chano once again explored all the options and chose the one with the best view. We were so lucky to have perfect light illuminating the wooden walkway over the lagoon with the peach and Tavolara Island at the background. Numerous birds were flying over us too, as this place is home for numerous animal species. Wish I carry high Whenever we're apart It takes me through the night When I look deep into your eyes We finished our day in an elegant seaside fish restaurant located just 5 minutes away from our hotel. Tasting their delicious dishes for dinner made the end of our day even more perfect. The weather prediction wasn't the best for sunrise, so I stayed comfortable sleeping in the bed while Chano woke up at 5 o'clock and drove 10 minutes to Punta La Greca Beach. From this tiny reddish beach, the views over Tavolara Island are really spectacular. day in Porto Taverna and we were meant to visit some of the most beautiful beaches around the area but as you can see it's raining a lot so we changed the itinerary and we'll try to do other activities but don't worry because tomorrow we will visit all the beautiful places so that we can show it to you and experience it with us so now let's go we keep exploring rain or shine Wait, wait, wait. Don't forget this. <laughs> Come on, mi amor. Hopefully we are in paradise. <laughs> Time to use the pool. Come on. I'm gonna swim now. Inside. We are in the barbecue restaurant of the hotel and this is also the other pool area. For lunch, we chose the barbecue restaurant of the hotel and once again, we really enjoyed their dishes. We could see how they cooked our food too. We just finished eating our lunch and it's still raining. 
such a beautiful weather, isn't it? When I bring you to the beach. <laughs> I just woke up from a long nap. After eating a very delicious lunch, we went back to our accommodation so that I could take a nap because I felt tired after being so full with food. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have found that the next thing to do in the day, which is not sleeping, we are heading to a olive oil factory, traditional factory, so hopefully they are open. Uh, let's learn more about the traditional Sardinian products today. The coffee made us really more alive now. Pretty good coffee too. 22 kilometers away from our hotel, Alto Evo, is an oil mill located in Bodoni. Their oil is obtained from a careful selection of olives to get the highest quality possible. We met one of the young owners of the company who explained to us with detail about the production of their oil and answered all our questions about their products. They sell their olive oil to some of the best restaurants in Sardinia, but it can be found also in the rest of Italy and abroad. Grazie mille. Grazie a voi. After getting our delicious extra virgin olive oil, we are on our way to a honey farm. We drove for 20 minutes more to reach Ejabio. This traditional and ecologic honey farm is located in the outskirts of Siniscola. Nicola Kosu is the friendly, hardworking owner of Ejabio. He dedicated his time to kindly explain to us all the details about the different honey products that he sells. You can immediately feel how passionate Nicola is about his products. He moves his piece around the nearby territory to obtain the best quality possible. We loved all the delicious honey types that we tasted and I just wish I could buy this honey all the time because it is really incredible. We just finished visiting the honey factory. Now we're heading back to our accommodation and get a good rest because tomorrow the weather will be more beautiful. We will do more strenuous activities. <laughs> we will do what we were supposed to. To do today. We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. Five o'clock in the morning and Chano is waking up again to film better videos at Punta La Greca Beach. His insistence allowed him to capture the same place with much better light in this occasion. No matter how tired he is, Chano won't give up if he considers that the content is really worth it for the vlogs and for his photography. Today the weather is much better than yesterday, so now we can enjoy all the beaches that we couldn't yesterday. But before that, we're gonna eat our delicious breakfast. Let's go! We really enjoyed the coffee and cake we had the day before, so we returned to Ambara Sardinian Lounge for breakfast. We eat a healthy diet at home, so we take advantage of our trips to eat whatever we fancy without worrying too much. Are you happy? Si, mucho happy. So far, all the parking lots next to the beaches are free. It's because it's not yet the high season. So we are saving really good money. We like saving money when we travel. We like saving money all the time. <laughs> yes, we like free stuff. Yoo! <laughs> After parking our car, we walked to the first beach of the day. Along the way, we stopped to film some of the unique wildflowers of Sardinia. As soon as we stepped on Lu Imposto Beach, we felt so lucky to be in such a beautiful natural place. 
This white sand beach is one of the largest in San Teodoro and it's part of the protected marine area of Tabulara. Luimpostu means place of shipping. And though the origins of the name are not confirmed, it is believed that it could have been a trade post or even a smuggling place. I love it here! I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world Just a few minutes walking to the north, we also visited one of the most famous beaches of Sardinia. Cala Brandinki is truly one of the most beautiful beaches we have ever seen. I absolutely loved its shallow waters and the fact that I could walk really far away into the clear sea. Finish with the first dish, now second dish. For the second main dish. Not a sponsor. <laughs> and for the dessert. On the beach. How <laughs> much like for you? <laughs> One say Italy is a sponsor. <laughs> Come on, nap time is finished. Mm. We have a... Hungry. You are hungry? I cannot believe you are hungry. We are on our way to almost secret beaches. The way to reach the last destination of our day was not very easy to find. The roads to this beach are private, so we had to leave our car in the parking located next to the Ristorante La Tavernetta in Porto Taverna. First, we walked to Cala Girgolu, another impressive beach with views over Tavulara Island. After crossing the beach, we followed the road that was closer to the sea until we found the little stairs that indicates the beginning of the trekking to Spiaggia de la Tartaruga. our way to paradise. We are already in paradise. More paradise. More paradise. However, our final destination for the day will be the Spiaggia delle Vacche. Are you sure that's the way? Let's just try. <laughs> Whoa, too many plants. Ow. <laughs> Almost there. We made it. It's over there. That's a dragon. It's a cow. Oh, looks like a dinosaur. Wow! And we're totally alone! <laughs> Perfecto! Mamma mia! All the beach for us. And that's the big rock. What channel will do to take his photos? 
It's gonna be kind of here. This was truly one of the most wonderful beaches we have ever seen. leaving San Teodoro and we are on our way to our next location. We are totally destroyed. We are very tired but we're also very happy because it was such a beautiful day and we've seen so many beautiful beaches. Totally worth it. One hour 40 minutes drive. We'll see you in our next adventure. And if you haven't seen our previous episodes of our Sardinian adventure, go check it out. That ends the fourth episode of our Sardinia travel series. Thank you so much for joining us. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to help us grow and create more travel content. Also comment down below if you know other interesting locations around San Teodoro. Stay tuned for our next episode because we will share with you more incredible places in Sardinia including more breathtaking beaches and some of the most beautiful towns in the island too. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.